balance this reaction. This one's a pretty messy one. I consider this like medium difficult. Uh, just because there's nothing simple about it. It's not a standard reaction. So you just got to keep guessing and working at it is how it goes. Uh, I tend to start with the more complicated looking part. So I'd probably start here or here. I wouldn't start with carbon. I wouldn't start with CO. I wouldn't start with P4. Now here is just guessing and working at it. Okay? Uh, so, three, and then make sure you have your eraser out. Okay, so three calcium, so I'll put a three here. Uh, this causes three silicons, so I'll put a three here. And you can do this a number of different ways, I'm just choosing to do it this way. Okay. That's good, looks good so far. And over here we have two phosphorus. Okay, so at this point I'm going to use fractions just to make my life easier. I'll put a one half there. Now let's see what else I can do. Uh, I guess next I'm going to make my way over to oxygen. I don't like oxygen because it's everywhere. It's really painful to balance. We'll just try our best. Uh, there's eight plus 6, 14. And over here, there's 9. So I want 5 more. Okay, so put a 5 here. Okay, now carbons. There's 5, so I gotta have 5 here. Okay, let's just double check to make sure everything's okay. If it's not, I gotta get my eraser out and fix everything. 3 calciums, 3 calciums. Uh, there's 2 phosphorus, 2 phosphorus. There's 8 plus 6, 14 equals 9 plus 5, 14. Uh, carbons, 5 and 5. It looks okay. Only thing I'll fix now is make sure everything's a whole number. So multiply through by 2. So I'll write that in a different color. I'll write it in green. I want a 2 there, 10, 6, 6, 10, and a 1. Does that look okay? That's how you gotta do it. You just mess around until you get it right. 